Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today's webinar. <coughs> my name is Jingyuan. I'm technical application specialist of Dolomai in uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, <coughs> so uh, this webinar is one webinar series we call uh, 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 Microphonic 101 with Dolomai. So this webinar series will be delivering every last Thursday each month along 2021. So um, today we will talk about the two big higher zero particles production and application in cell encapsulation. So um, the agenda today will be including two parts. So the past one uh, we will uh, go with uh, uh, a presentation and the part two is Q&A section. So uh, if you have any question during the presentation, please feel free to write out uh, the question in uh, the question box or chat box. So uh, we will try to directly answer all of your questions in Q&A section. Also today we have uh, an expert from uh, bio team. So if you have any question um, uh, related to the, your uh, biological application, uh, we hope that we can support you in uh, Q&A section. So let's start with uh, a presentation. The content of the presentation today will be including the introduction and uh, example for uh, alginate bead synthesis. After that, we move to example for agro bead synthesis. And finally, we will talk about the system flexibility and scale. So uh, the first, what are hydrogel bits? So uh, the hydrogel bits uh, are defined as the microsite particles made from the natural synthetic or synthetic polymers. And each granules can uh, absorb uh, and retain a huge amount of water. So they are used in very, uh, various applications, such as the biomedical drug delivery and uh, biological study. So uh, as we have learned about the microfluidic technology, so compared to the conventional so harmonizer technique, so the microfluidic uh, technologies uh, can enable formation of high monodispersed emulsion, double multiple emulsion, particle or hybrid material from nano to uh, micro -siring. And also, um, the droplet can be used as micro reactor uh, to create a complex population sample, uh, as can be, uh, it can be far from five values, mixed, or split, or analyzed. So, the application of the microfluidic uh, is very wiring uh, in which so biomedical uh, the application uh, uh, can be uh, applied with with microfluidic, with high throughput, small sample volume, reduced weight, and reduced biocide time, and uh, reduced cost as well. So uh, the hydrogel uh, can be manufactured uh, using the microfluidic technology uh, with two methods. The, it's by chemical isolation, isolation uh, or thermal setting. So for chemical isolation uh, uh, with the microfluidic, the two reagents uh, will be introduced and combined as they are pinched up at the junction. And uh, isolation occurs in flow or in collection vessel uh, by mean introduction of third component. And the payload is typically brought uh, in one or both of the equal slides. The second method is a thermal setting. So in which the thermal setting method, the material is taken above its zero points. Uh, uh, so, and after that, the, it pinch up uh, at a temperature control system. And the product will be collect and set uh, virus, uh, virus cooling. And for this method, the payload also can be brought in uh, on a hot or cold equal slide. So with the, this method for hydrogel bead production uh, using the microfluidic, the typical issue can be uh, obtained uh, as uh, the, 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 the materials working with uh, high-vicus materials. So it will fetch on throughput 
and also uh, the relation process also uh, it uh, kind of the complicate uh, process so it also uh, uh, it kind of the, it make uh, the issue for the uh, production and also uh, matching of reagent for example like uh, emulsion stabilizing oil with a first component and um, custom design tips so here, so in some example for uh, hydrocarbon uh, production using uh, the microfluidic method, so we can make up the alginate base for cell encapsulation or microbial encapsulation or protein encapsulation or API encapsulation. We also can make agarose or uh, gelatin uh, uh, for cell and bacterial encapsulation or protein or and API encapsulation as well. We also can make a polyacrylamide base. Uh, it's a it have the for major and non-porous form with the oligonucleotide functionalization bit for enhanced RNA capture and to enable the passage uh, through the microbial channel. And the heavy cross-linking forms for uh, therapeutic material, for example, like uh, radioactive uh, isotope. So, uh, what problem the microfluidics uh, solve for uh, hydrogen production? Uh, we have five problems that microfluidics can be solved. So, the first is monodiversity of sample because uh, uh, size is often important and the bits have to pass through the rest uh, restrictions. So, with the microfluidics, uh, we can generate a very monodispersed uh, sample. Uh, 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 and the second is the consistency of loading uh, with the uh, uh, mic microfluidic methods. We can get high uh, consistent loading, for example, like average of the 150 or 100 cell per base. It, it can be easy to obtain by microfluidic method. And number three is the low energy input. Uh, with uh, Using the microfluidic method, we just apply very low energies. So uh, it, it can be uh, to make sure that microbursts uh, or uh, bacterials can be remained uh, un, uh, disturb, uh, di disturbed. So uh, it can uh, save as the material be in encapsulate uh, can be set during the encapsulation. And number four is the ability to control the environment of the payloads. For example, like uh, during encapsulation, the agro shell never experience temperature both 30 36 degrees C, so uh, it can uh, keep the, the, the encapsulant and be safe during the encapsulation. And number five is, uh, is avoid the need for non driver side selection, uh, selection by manufacturing at the target site. So using microdicts, uh, we can easily to control the side, target side, the particle or uh, the droplet using microdict. So here is a single channel system that we, uh, we use in IND separate approach, uh, uh, so lab scale uh, uh, for the research. So uh, basically, it's uh, including the three pressure pumps that you can see in here, and one uh, microfluidic chip that connect with the uh, uh, pressure pump using the tubing and barrels, and uh, microscope integrate. Uh, with the high-speed cameras uh, that will be have to you to put, visualize all the process uh, that's happened inside the microfluidic. So the system we design is as a modular system and it's very flexible. Uh, so the end user can be add or remove the, the modular the, uh, component to adapt its uh, specific application for and and. Uh, that's why uh, the system is, can be used for many applications by just, uh, uh, using different modular and different chip designs. So the second um, uh, system I would like to introduce here is the micro encapsulator system. So it's a system for uh, it's a complete system for high throughput uh, encapsulation of the individual cell into the picoliter uh, droplets. So uh, it works with a small sample of the hundreds uh, microliters or less. Uh, 
it also encapsulation of just a uh, single shell or uh, DNA or other materials. And it can be encapsulated up to 300,000 uh, shell in 15 minutes. And the second channels we allow to call encapsulation with um, the functionalized uh, bit and or, or reaction mix as well. And the system the, were ideally for uh, profiting native pair of TCR or isolating antibody coding sequences or encapsulating cells in hydrogel or encapsulating expression library for fast sorting. Uh, so, uh, and the system is uh, um, automation and integrated robot analysis uh, by using the PC software. So we moved uh, the, for next step is uh, showing the example for uh, alginate base synthesis. So uh, the examples, first example for alginate base synthesis is the production of the highly monodisperate alginate bit for um, mammalian uh, cell encapsulation. So this example, uh, we saw the result for the encapsulation of the mammalian cell uh, in alginate bit using the single channels uh, and hundreds micrometer 3D uh, pore flow focusing uh, chip with the 2% alginates were used to encapsulate the mammalian cell. So uh, the aim of this work is the following. The first, we produce monodispersed alginate bit and the second is uh, using the cross-linking uh, cross uh, alginate droplet to produce monodispersed space. And uh, then we identify the parameter for high throughput. And finally, we solve the biocompatibilities for, uh, by encapsulating of live mammalian cells. Here, so in the system setup, basically, we, we need two pumps in the system. So, uh, one pump will pump in with your alginate, uh, with 2% of the alginate with 0.1 mole of sequentium EDTAs, uh, uh, and it will be pumping at, uh, uh, as a drop it phase. And the second pump will be pumping with this uh, fluorocerp uh, in, uh, in uh, SFD uh, 7500. Uh, and we're pumping as continuous phase. So uh, the 3D uh, pore uh, low focusing uh, chip with uh, junction size 100 micrometers uh, will be used for this experiment. And uh, the microscope will be visualized on the droplet formation inside the chip. The sample will be collected in a sample collection uh, with uh, around 200 microliter of solution of the continuous phase with 0.5% uh, of acetic acid. So uh, for a cell encapsulation uh, experiment, so the cancer in dye mammalian cell uh, piloted uh, uh, in the PBS buffer solution were uh, really suspended in uh, the disparate phase uh, to achieve the final working concentration of the one million cell uh, per uh, milliliter for cell encapsulation experiment. So uh, this slide showing the mechanism of the alginate cross-linking. So uh, as uh, as using the cross-linking of 0.5 acetic acid in collection phase uh, with 1% of chloro serve in uh, HFP 7500. So uh, as a natural condition uh, like PS7, so uh, the alginate droplet will be contained uh, the alginate uh, change and uh, calcium uh, EDTA. So under uh, acidic conditions with the pH low than five, so uh, the, the the calcium the EDTA complex uh, will uh, dissociate uh, and uh, release of the calcium ions to cross-link alginate chain, uh, as you see in you can see in this uh, figure. So uh, here, showing some results uh, with uh, using uh, in, in, in experiments uh, to produce uh, the droplet and particle of the alginate. So for this experiment, again, 2% alginate were tested 
So this is an uh, approximate upper limit of the LDNA concentration. We can uh, successfully submit, uh, make a bit with our uh, encountering issue with the viscosity of the Z things. So uh, lowest uh, the LDNA concentration lies 0 0.05 or 1 percent. We won't show successfully the passive. Uh, and we did with the two percent LGNX, so it 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 had the commonly uh, concentration used for biomedicals application as well. So as you can see in the table, uh, yeah, by the changing the, the flow rate of the continuous phase and droplet phase, we can uh, achieve different uh, droplet size uh, and the particle diameter. So uh, as you can see in this image, it can, uh, uh, we can obtain the very monodispersed droplet with the size around the 95 micrometer uh, when we achieve uh, the flow rate of uh, droplet phase 2 microliter per min and uh, continuous phase 10 microliter per min. And after uh, uh, cross-linking uh, process so we can obtain the particle with the size uh, uh, around 100 uh, micrometer. So when we increase uh, the uh, flow rate of the droplet phase as well as the flow rate of the um, uh, continuous phase, so we can obtain the higher frequencies uh, or higher uh, production rate of product. And also we can obtain the larger droplet diameter and larger particle diameters, uh, as you can see in the table and images. So here, this one showing uh, the image for cell encapsulation. So as you can see in the figure A in here, so the calcium treated mammalian cell suspended in alginate uh, prior to uh, encapsulation. It uh, did not show a lot of viability. Uh, so uh, in, in, in figure B, you can see this ma a mammalian cell encapsulates in uh, two um, percent of alginate bit. And uh, with the, in, in image C, uh, you can see with the pot encapsulation and washing, uh, so the cell in uh, alginate bit uh, could be seen. And, uh, they remain viable. So due to the process, uh, uh, due to the sorry, due to the porous um, the alginate structure, so it uh, is therefore possible to grow cell in the bead. Uh, and nutrient and gas also can uh, readily exchange via nanopore in the bead structure. Uh, so this method can easily uh, uh, be adapted for creating a micro reactor or other uh, sensitive uh, active agent requiring uh, my uh, isolation and encapsulation. And next is example, uh, some example for uh, agro beast synthesis um, that. Uh, Starting with example one, uh, using um, uh, so the, a micro for the root for to produce micron size agro hydrogen bit. So uh, this example will describe the generation of uh, agro droplets at uh, uh, elevated uh, temperature and subsequent cooling uh, to form solid microparticles. So uh, uh, this high droplet generation rate. Uh, can be achieved at uh, 2,000 uh, hundreds droplet per second, corresponding a droplet diameter of uh, 60 micrometer. So uh, in this experiment, the system is based around standard uh, the hydrophobic droplet junction chip. Uh, so basically, it's, uh, using the uh, single channel system with 3D uh, palm and uh, the droplet junction chip with the size of the hundreds micrometers. Or 50 micrometer. So uh, the flow rate we, we control through the uh, uh, dolomite pressure pump uh, for uh, providing the smooth pulse uh, lead uh, flow and uh, droplet sign, droplet generation frequency are uh, interrelated related and used to define uh, the operating limit of the system. 
So here, so in the system setup, so basically we will have two pressure pump as well. Uh, one pump will be uh, providing uh, for droplet phase, it's agro phase, and the other pump will be providing for uh, the, uh, the oil phase as continuous phase in here. So uh, we have the, a custom the part, we call the heating disk for agro, uh, heating agro before uh, delivering the, the to the uh, chip junction. So as you can see, this one is hitting this. It will be contained of the reservoirs with, uh, for our growth content before uh, going to the chip. Uh, and uh, uh, the heated place with the groove and connector. Uh, so uh, it can adapt or it can place uh, on a surface, uh, on a hub list to be uh, control the temperatures. And the chip will be located in here. So, so every the process can be under control, uh, temperature controls. So uh, this one showing the agro, uh, showing um, uh, uh, the the component for um, for each phase. So we use the molten agro uh, in here, and we use uh, the continuous phase at the mineral oil with one percent span at the surfactant. So the agro is dissolved in water around 90 and 100 uh, degrees C, uh, 90 to 100 degrees C, uh, and and final solution is used uh, between the 45 to 75 uh, degrees C in uh, the test. So here, so in some demonstration video, uh, that's uh, carry out with the uh, uh, heating rig and uh, pressure pump the system. So as you can see, we use two pressure pump. In this one, the heating rig, uh, and this one is the microfluidic chip. Uh, and the process can be visualized with the microscope integrated with high-speed cameras and controls the temperatures, uh, controls uh, the my software. You can see the drop information in here. Uh, and here, so showing how the heating rig look like. This one the reservoir will contain the uh, the, the uh, agros and the tubing for uh, agro and continuous phase as well. And the temperature will be controlled by uh, the hot list in here. Okay, so uh, this one showing some uh, results uh, can be obtained uh, with the experiment. So, um, for temperatures uh, is uh, is test uh, with uh, from 45 to 75 degrees C with the three different concentration 0.5, 2, and 3.3. So uh, this table showing the particle production frequency uh, in hex uh, that depending on the temperature and concentration. So as you can see in this table, the highest drop is generation rate is uh, 2800 drop it per second uh, and uh, it corresponds uh, to drop it size of 60 micrometer per deal with agro concentration of the 0 0.5 and temperature of the 75 degrees C and this one showing the table uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, with the experiment carry out at uh, 65 degrees C and with concentration of the 3.3 percent of the agarose uh, at uh, with a different uh, um, pressure a different uh, flow rate of the uh, continuous phase and uh, the droplet phase agarose. So uh, in here we keep constant of the flow rate of the mineral oils at the continuous phase. Uh, with one bar pressure or uh, corresponding to seven, uh, 37 uh, microliter per min of mineral oils. And the other rows, uh, the flow rates will be increased uh, from uh, 0 0.15 to uh, around 4 microliter per min. So with increased uh, droplet phase flow rate, we can see the droplet uh, frequencies increase as well uh, as well as the the, the drop is size increased from 47 to uh, 90 micrometer 
So this one showing the particles uh, on the image of particles uh, under the microscope with uh, low magnification and high magnification. So we can uh, see that we can obtain the very high monodispersion of the, uh, the droplet and also of the, uh, the particles, particles, agro particle size. Uh, this graph uh, showing the variation of droplet size and uh, frequencies by just changing droplet carry uh, pressure uh, as a function of the pressure and the flow rate. So in this uh, graph, you can see in here in left hand, so uh, it is variation of the droplet size frequency by just changing droplet and carriers uh, the pressure. Uh, so when we increase the droplet uh, pressure, we can obtain the higher uh, frequencies and as well as the higher droplet size. Uh, and uh, also um, during the experiment, we can uh, 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 investigate of the, the limitation in carrier backflow or the setting limit and uh, droplet uh, backflow limit. So. Uh, from that, we can, we can uh, investigate the, the stable dripping region uh, for uh, the experiment. So the size of the microparticle obtained in uh, controls can be uh, various uh, from uh, 20 micrometer to 130 micrometer. So this graph showing the variation of the side, droplet size and frequency by just changing droplet and carrier pressure display as a function of flow rate. And here you can see so uh, with the flow rates uh, of the agar or droplet phase increase, so we can obtain uh, with the higher frequency and as well as the higher uh, or bigger droplet size. So we move to uh, another example for a uh, micro encapsulator of hydrogels. So uh, as uh, we introduced introduce in, uh, in in introduction past the micro encapsulators uh, uh, is a, a system for encapsulation of hydrogel uh, uh, hydrogel uh, and uh, in this case we do with agro bit uh, with the easy diffusion of the nutrient in and sugary factor diffuse out and uh, the cell and DNA is uh, stable enclosed inside the bit. And also uh, the encapsulation of uh, uh, cell in, in agro which can be used as uh, can be used for the cell cultures uh, process by highly defined reversible 3D culture uh, the condition culture condition and for example like uh, uh, epithelials uh, asinine uh, cultures uh, cultures in the cell bits and the control of imaging cell interaction condition. So uh, here is showing the, the encapsulator system uh, with the component. Basically, it is a similar with the single channel system using in the left scale. So we have a three pressure pump. We have a microscope uh, with high speed camera and we have a chip. So for this system, we have one more modular. Uh, we call it the micro encapsulator modular. It's for encapsulation of the individual cell into the pico droplet, as you can see in here, and, and the temperature control you need, we can control the chip temperature between uh, 1 to 100 degrees C. So this showing the house, the temperature control uh, unit and the micro encapsulators uh, modulus look like. So this one showing the EVG of the uh, micro encapsulators uh, modulus and uh, it including the sample chip we have two reservoirs in here uh, uh, we holding hundreds microliter of sample for encapsulation and uh, it's connect with the uh, droplet tip so we use two reagent droplet tip with the different size uh, uh, from 15 to 30 and 50 uh, micrometer we coating uh, different coating materials for fluorophilic or hydrophilic. And this one is a collection uh, part. So it's a temperature controlled collection of emulsion in a uh, pent-up uh, tube. 
So uh, this is showing uh, the princip uh, principle of the creating a parallel droplet uh, uh, using micro encapsulator system. So um, uh, you can see. Uh, as you can see uh, in here, we have a cell suspended, uh, suspension and gel will, will be introduced together uh, and ping up through the tip junction uh, with the continuous phase, the R phase, so to uh, generate of the droplet with contain of cell and gel together. And uh, the cell can be uh, can grow for a day which in droplet, as you can see in uh, this image, uh, is a fall from uh, the initial step for encapsulation uh, with uh, starting and after 40, at 10 days and after uh, 14 days. So here the system setup, uh, it including three pressure pumps connect with uh, the the Micro encapsulators module and tissue and uh, visualized by microscope. So, uh, in here, so one pump will uh, uh, using for driving the cell and connecting with one reservoir channel in here, one sample channel in here. So, in the, in the channel uh, reservoir chip, uh, it will contain a cell in here with uh, 100 microliter of uh, size or less. Uh, so this will, which pump we're using driving fluid as the Novak uh, 7500, and the first, the, 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 the first pump, another pump will be uh, pumping for hydrogel, which hydrogel can be fit in another side of the chip, uh, reservoir chip uh, in here with uh, the volume of 100 microliter or less. So uh, it's also the pump can also using driving fluid for as the, the Novex uh, seven uh, uh, seventy five hundred uh, uh, oil uh, for uh, as driving fluid and uh, drop it uh, the continuous phase will be connect with the reservoir chip and connect with uh, the pump with uh, with for pumping two percent of fluorocell uh, oils. Uh, as the continuous phase. So uh, in here, showing the way to connect uh, between the chip reservoir, sample chip, and uh, droplet chip. You can see in here. So the one side of the uh, the cell we will connect with uh, one uh, input uh, chip, uh, input channel chip, and uh, the other side agro we connect with uh, the other uh, uh, input uh, channels and uh, the oils will be connecting uh, with uh, continuous uh, the play of the channels, droplet channel chip in here and the uh, sample will be collect with this way uh, with the collection to the collection uh, the part. So uh, the agro is attractive for encapsulation uh, because it enables to uh, precise con temperature control in, uh, in, in uh, with the micro uh, encapsulator. And uh, as you can see below, image is uh, is uh, showing the 50 uh, micrometer of agro width, which format with low gelling temperature agro. So it's showing very uh, high monody space of the droplet and particles uh, can be generated using micro encapsulator system. So uh, in summary, uh, the monodispersed gerobies are very highly uh, reproducible and control uh, um, uh, environment. And it allows the nature of 3D growth uh, with good diffusion and uh, scalability. And the encapsulating shell in which also allows the reagent, for example, like this is buffer or a PCR buffer to be readily swatched in and out. So we move to uh, the system flexibility and uh, uh, system scale up. Um, so uh, actually with the single channel system, as I would do it, uh, it's uh, uh, ideally for using in lab scale uh, for uh, research purpose. After the finished optimization with the lab scale, we can move to uh, the TELUS uh, scale up system. Uh, uh, so, um, 
for high real production, we also can use the high uh, the tailored uh, system uh, for scale up uh, production. So the the the, the output. Uh, the tidal system increase uh, with the three uh, way like increase flow rate of individual uh, through uh, individual junction and the increased number of junction chip uh, junction working in a parallel. So with the tidal chip, we have seven junction uh, were uh, integrated in one chip, so it can working in parallels. And we also increase number of chip working in parallel using the tidal module. So have, uh, we have uh, Telos modules, uh, we can integrate up to 10 chips working together. So this one showing is how uh, the, the multiple Telos client module can be stuck uh, together uh, to build up the system for larger uh, scale production. So this is one module, client module for using the one chip, uh, one Telos chip. And uh, this one, the way how to uh, claim uh, how 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 to uh, stack together the CAM model uh, to build up the system. So um, sorry. So um, um, so with the two free, so it's very easy and quick to set up and use. Uh, so. Um, uh, the individual individual chip control uh, for fast acting well allow one chip uh, to be replaced without uh, affecting the others. Uh, and up to uh, ten um, Telos module can be assembled in parallels. You can see it here. So it means uh, uh, you can increase the uh, uh, production rate up to seventy times compared to using uh, the single channel chip. So here, this slide showing the current Tesla system available uh, with uh, uh, applications, specific applications, which can see uh, not only hardware synthesis uh, application can be used with Tesla. Uh, so uh, we can use uh, the Tesla for the single emulsion, double emulsion, liposome synthesis, uh, polymer nanoparticle, polymer microparticles as well, synthesis as well. And uh, system flexibility, uh, flexibility. So with the modular of the system, uh, we have uh, uh, not only uh, alginate or agro or uh, poly uh, acrylamide based uh, synthesis, we also uh, have uh, exposes or uh, another polymers uh, based synthesis with uh, PL, for example, like PLDA or PD. Uh, printing dot nanoparticle uh, for uh, many wiring of application. Uh, so um, I finished. Uh, I finished uh, the presentation uh, today. Thank you uh, for uh, your attention. So now we move to uh, a Q and A section. So please uh, send us your question now in the question box. So uh, we will try to uh, directly answer you one of your question. Thank you. Okay, I got one question uh, from Jung Huang. Thank you. So, what the factor uh, can be optimized to enhance encapsulation efficiency of the single shell in a single bit for single shell encapsulation purpose is agro better than hydrogels? Uh, and why can encapsulated shell in gel bit be uh, resuspended in grow medium for uh, experiment? Uh, okay, very good question. So uh, the, for the first question, uh, what factor can be uh, optimized uh, to enhance encapsulation efficiency of the single cell in the single bit? So um, well, so the uh, the factors uh, can be optimized to enhance uh, encapsulation efficiency is uh, we be including the the cell uh, concentrations. And also uh, the 
uh, flow rate ratio between the droplet and uh, continuous phase. So with cell concentration, you can control the, the how many cells per bit or uh, um, can be encapsulated in a bit. And also uh, for uh, flow rate uh, ratio between droplet phase and continuous phase, it will also decide the, the, the bit size and um, uh, uh, and um, sorry. Uh, so uh, and for uh, for the different uh, droplet uh, in calculation uh, droplet uh, flow rates, so we can obtain the different um, the droplet size. And different, also different cell concentration in uh, which can be encapsulated in in um, uh, droplet. Or uh, the second question is the for single cell encapsulation per pore is agro better than hydrogen? Hmm. Um, it's a good question. So. Um, it depending on yeah it, it, it depending on the um, what type of single cell uh, encapsulation uh, what what type of cell encapsulation so the agro uh, or other hydrogel can be used for encapsulate so it depending on uh, the uh, for it 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 used for the the uh, cell culture purpose so um, I cannot say is using agro uh, can be better than other hydrogels so it's a very specific uh, uh, the uh, application specific uh, condition for its application and can encapsulate uh, shell in gel bits be resuspended in grow medium for experiment um, yeah Actually, um, it can be it can be uh, resuspended in. Uh, yeah, it's 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 good question and related to uh, related to the bios biological um, the, uh, the knowledge. So uh, we have not expressed uh, uh, in biological application. So uh, Han, do you have any comment with this uh, question, please? Hello everyone, my name is Anne and I'm the representative of uh, Dolomite Bio, it's the sister company of Dolomite Micro. So we also have some experiences with our encapsulating single cells in hydrogel. And uh, for, like King has mentioned, it's totally dependent on your application. For example, for our customers, when they want to encapsulate, say, each cells, then they prefer agarose. Or, for example, if they want to sort the cells afterward, so after you do the single cell encapsulation and then you want to detect some signal in the bead, uh, maybe you can co encapsulate your B cells with a bead uh, with a antibody and then it will fluoresce once their cells secrete some specific proteins that you are interested in. Then if you want to do that type of sorting application, many people use agarose. But for example, if you want to grow the cells, then hydrogel might be much more friendly to the cells, but, uh, but the hydrogel can, because they are uh, made from um, from organic substrate so it's less robust and uh, we are still trying to investigate on the intactness of hydrogels after effects so it's totally dependent on your application and then the other question is can encapsulated cells in gel beads be resuspend in growth medium yes definitely uh, we have an application note where we use the pfo to get rid of the oil and exchange the gel bead to the uh, growth medium or you can also use the anti-static gun and if you need more um, instruction on this we can get back to you via email with our detailed protocol 
I hope it answered your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Han. Hope this helped for uh, you, Yung Han. And uh, we move to the next question uh, from the Max Chapman. So, what is the role of surfactant and how does it affect this affect to stability the droplet? So, um, the role of surfactant is just for stabilizing of the droplet. So, as you know, the surfactant itself is have two uh, ends. So, hydrophobic uh, uh, heat uh, head and uh, um, uh, hydrophilic. So, uh, when using surfactant with uh, droplets, the surfactant will uh, prevent uh, the droplets uh, can, uh, droplet can uh, stack each other, so it can prevent the droplet uh, more stable so, uh, during the time or after the droplet generation. So it's very useful, uh, very helpful to use the droplet uh, surfactant uh, or uh, emulsion stabilizers for uh, st uh, stabilizing uh, the, the sample uh, after the formation with microfluidic method. So for uh, hydrogel or uh, cell encapsulation, uh, so after uh, the droplet formation, so uh, the droplet will be uh, stabilized uh, by the surfactant and uh, zero uh, uh, dilation of the, the hydrogen process will be uh, happen to solidify the, uh, the droplet and after that uh, we, 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 we need to we can move uh, we remove the surfactant out to uh, the beach uh, to have the cell uh, uh, life, life inside and grow inside the micro bit. I hope this helped and next question is from uh, Roshini. Um, the requirement, I want silica particle size of 3, 5, and 10 micron with output of emulsion uh, 20, 50 uh, liter per hour. Um, sorry, I can get clearly about this question. Um, sorry, uh, yeah. So uh, actually, with three, five, and ten micron of the uh, particle size, so it means you need to generate up the, around the, uh, uh, the three or five micron of the droplets, uh, or uh, larger than uh, uh, that's the kind of the size range of the droplet. So in this case, we use a small droplet, small droplet. Um, uh, cheap junction uh, like we have uh, five micron or 15 micron of the small droplet that can be uh, created up to from uh, three micron of the droplet to 10 micron uh, so however with the output of the emulsion uh, around uh, 20 or 50 liter power uh, per hour so uh, it means uh, we need it uh, very um, I, I can calculate it later, but I assume that we, we need a uh, uh, hundred thousand uh, chip junctions uh, just working together in parallel. So it means we can use the tailors which build up the, around a thousand uh, chip junctions working together. However, uh, it, it will need a huge uh, the claim or huge modular of the uh, tailor just working together for uh, uh, to adapt the, the from 20 to 50 liter per hour of the product. So it's really, really uh, big challenges for microfluidic. Um, yeah, very good question. So uh, I can I can I can um, uh, send you uh, later about the, my calculation for your requirement uh, later through the email. Thank you. Um, oh, another question from you, uh, Roshini. So, can we have a demo? Um, for specific application, we uh, we uh, actually we have demonstration for general uh, for uh, more general uh, the application light uh, for droplet generation to show the, how the system works. But for specific light, uh, silica particles, uh, the um, uh, 
the demonstration. So uh, we uh, offer some uh, kind of the, the, the uh, short project test, like the feasibility test for the customers. However, at this moment, uh, we have limitation, um, limitation uh, limit uh, uh, discharge in the people's and also in the time uh, in the lab. So uh, it's, it's really hard work in this moment. So yeah, I will, I will uh, contact you uh, through email for more detail about that. Thank you, Roshin. And uh, next question from uh, Sri Kant. Uh, so, how long the LG bits will be stable without uh, getting deformed at the micro scale? And how good will uh, be the visibility of particle inside the hydrogen with time? Well, so um, the LG bit will be stable without getting uh, deformed at the micro scale. So, uh, because we use a surfactant, so um, as long as as long as uh, we keeping the surfactant uh, in, uh, in, in, in in the uh, solution in, in uh, with within the droplet, so uh, it can be uh, stabilized alginate uh, for days or uh, yeah to 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 a week. However, um, uh, yeah. And how would we uh, the visibility of the particle inside uh, the hydrogel with time? Um, it's a good question. So normally, when we uh, breaking the emulsions uh, by uh, uh, removing the surfactant, we can uh, visualize the particles, the micro bits uh, inside uh, under the microscope. So it's so very good. Uh, the trans, trans transparency uh, uh, of the the, the micro bits. However, during the time, maybe uh, it can be a job or grow cell, uh, as you can see, uh, using the uh, the two week as uh, in in my experiment in my in my the presentation. So it's also in very it, it could be uh, clearly see. At the two week with the uh, transparent of the micro gel. So, um, for specific uh, answer, so I think um, we can keep the visibilities uh, of particle inside hydrogel uh, during the time uh, with uh, keeping the, the, the good condition in, 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 in lab condition, in, in lab environment. Okay, so I hope it helped, Sri Kant. Uh, if you need more uh, requests in, in your question, so um, please send us uh, the question and we can respond to you uh, later uh, more for more detail uh, through the email as well. Is there any question more, please? Okay, yeah, I saw some more questions. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Okay, um, if you don't have more questions uh, right now, so, um, we will stop uh, this uh, seminar webinars in, in, in here. So uh, later, if you have more questions, please feel free to uh, write out the question uh, to uh, our email at the Hanoi office at uh, blightrade.com. Uh, and uh, before ending this section, I would like to have note that uh, next month, we will have a final section, a lot, our last section of uh, uh, the webinar series this year. So uh, it will be deliv uh, delivering on uh, 15 of December. So if you uh, during the um, the last our last section, we will have uh, the uh, summary section. Uh, thus, we uh, summarize all of our knowledge that we have learned in uh, during this year. 
and also we have uh, opened uh, the custom section just we uh, can directly chat to you about those uh, microbiotic uh, experiments or setup the equipment and uh, as well as your uh, microbiotic drivers as well so uh, if you have uh, interesting on this please visit to uh, our website and have uh, and do the registration from now Thank you very much for uh, attending the webinar today. Uh, and yeah, see you next section, final as final section. Thank you.